All right, so here we have the reflection edge. Uh, this is actually a prototype. It's a two by six foot touchscreen that collapses into a duffel bag and deploys in minutes. With a weekly 30 second test where athletes interact with light patterns on the screen, we can monitor many important factors in detecting concussions simultaneously. I'm Matt Campagna, CEO and co-founder of Reflection Interactive Technologies. We offer a fast, portable, affordable concussion screening solution. Athletes once a week take a 30 second test where they interact with light patterns in front of them and we're able to determine from that test once a week whether or not they might have suffered a mild concussion. So we pick up on the concussions that coaches and trainers don't pick up on on the sidelines. The reflection edge is controlled remotely and the way you control it is from any laptop computer by a Bluetooth. So here I have my computer, it's connected to the device and I can run trials from it. I'm a computer engineering student at Case Western Reserve University. So we have a hardware guy who's working on designing the electronics and we have a software developer who's working on the algorithms, um, you know, the code to display things like you see there, computer scientists. And what I did a lot of was writing drivers to drive the electronics that are in the system. Um, so very low level code, some hardware description writing where I'm actually describing hardware in code. Here you can see stimuli going across the screen. They can be of varying color and there are certain targets that you're supposed to touch, certain ones that you're not, depending on the color, depending on you know which direction they're moving. I think there's there's computer science up here. And you know, this is everything from you know developing algorithms to uh, you know developing better ways to run websites and things like that. It's more high level. And then you have electrical engineering, which is very low level. You're actually dealing with hardware circuits. And then computer engineering is probably closer to electrical engineering, but it's in between. So you're dealing with you know integrated circuits. You're you know designing chips. You're, you're writing code sometimes like computer scientists do, but the code that you're writing is actually mimicking hardware, it's mimicking circuits. So um, you, you kind of stand like the glue in between computer science and electrical engineering.